Hi, this is Racer KK 10 r welcoming you back to more Real Racing 3 gameplay. We're working on the video for the endurance races, and this video will concentrate on how you know if you're going to be able to continue beyond lap 10, 15, 20. And I've done some experimenting with it to see what levels are workable and what levels are not workable. And I've chosen the time that we have at the beginning of lap 10 to be the indicator as to whether or not you're going to be successful or not. Pretty obvious, I think, that if you have 90, 80, or 90 seconds at the time you got to the 10th lap, that there should be, that's the maximum you can have, there should be no trouble continuing. Here we have lap 10, we've got 41 seconds. It's also, not maybe not as obvious, but it's also possible, I have actually uh, done this um, achievement to start the 10th lap with 52 seconds and still be able to continue after lap 15 but with lower the way we're starting now 41 it is very difficult I'm gonna do the best I can to try to continue but between lap 10 and 15 there is um, a slowdown and a spare a sparseness of the cars that you can have to Add, add time to your um, running time and you see we're down in the 30s already and we have no cars ahead of us here and I hit a barrier it's not a good example but let's see how close we come if I could run this without a barrier it would make more sense <clears throat> so let's just see how Without hitting the barrier, I may have been closer to the car ahead of us and we would have been able to pass it sooner. But uh, we're down to 21 in lap 12. And this is where you definitely, one of the things you want to learn about this is that uh, you need to run a clean, quick race between lap 10 and 15 because of the scarcity of cars and because they go faster than they do in lap 1 and 2. So a few cars there are and it's just difficult to keep a time up and you can't make mistakes like hitting the barriers and, and be able to make it when you have 41 seconds of lap 10. This section here is a long section without a car and uh, it's just even if I, were, if I were able to pass that car ahead and get 10 more seconds and I probably would have been able to if I hadn't hit the barriers in the tail of uh, um, bumpers then I uh, would have been able to continue further but I don't think I would have made it past lab 18 or 19 in our next example I'm going to see what I can do to get 60 to 70 seconds at lap 10 and we can see how that can be successful it appears we're coming into the beginning of lap 10 and we'll have about well, we'll have exactly 59 seconds maybe 69 depending on how you count it because we just passed a car but 59 or 69 seconds is about the threshold at which you're going to have success and below you'll have failure and above you'll have success so we'll see if we can demonstrate a successful continuation of the endurance past lap 15 just have to run a an efficient line with uh, less bumping cars and no barriers, no barriers stopping you for sure.
less skidding. I did skid a little there, and hopefully it won't matter a lot. Going inside here. So, there's usually two cars in your view most times, and in this area it seems like there's only one at a time. Those ghosts can cause a problem when you pass them right at the sharp finish line. Usually you can see two, three cars, sometimes four in this area. Right now I'm only seeing two. But since you can see those two cars, we'll probably be able to pass those two. And since we passed one at the start finish, that means we'll have a three car overtake lap. It'll give us uh, around about 30, 42. Lap 13, 12 and 13 is where your your numbers will go down as low as possible. Lowest they will be going down, and uh, usually from that point you should be able to maintain. But there's almost like a forced two, maybe one or two overtake lap somewhere in there between 10 and 15. That uh, if you're at lower than a certain level, you just cannot recover. We have about 35. And see, we have a car right ahead of us, which means we might be able to get a four overtake lap if we do it cleanly and efficiently. Because we can overtake this one and maybe three more. We can see one, but you know, maybe we'll just get three this lap and see if we can get a four lapper next time. We can see two, so we should be able to get them passed. Nope, we're not going to pass it. Well, we're going to have to scramble and get a four here to stay alive. It's uh, pretty touch and go when you're close to the line. You can see three cars now. That's encouraging. See three cars still. You know we passed one. Going inside. Just going to scrape by. Maybe we can get two passes here. Yes. Now we got a little bit of cushion, but we still need to see if we get another four overtake lap. We've got three cars we can see here. That's pretty good. In this view. Right now we can see four cars in this view. So if you can see four cars right here, then it's pretty good if you do a, a good uh, run. And I'm not doing that great of a run, but we'll see if we can still pull out at least three. We get three and maybe four. We still, three, still see three cars. We got our four laps, so we're up. It's going to be about 47. Yes, in lap 17. So that's an example of successfully making it through laps 10 through 15. We got a couple of four overtake laps, and we see cars where it's conceivable that we can continue to con um, overtake three cars, maintaining the time and then occasionally do a four lap which means we'll increase our time and be able to continue running the endurance. Coming into lap 19 and we we're up to 55 seconds. We have 25, we have 63 seconds. I've taken a few hits to the rear end and my bumper is distracting me and it's drawing off my line sometimes because it's not as straight as it used to be. Oh, come on, Barry. Could have been ahead of that car by now.
And there's a normal lap. We get our three overtakes on the side before the front start and finish line. We're at 81, going to be about 86 at the start finish line, lap 34. You may be wondering how I can predict, and I'll show you the trick. It's not anything magic. It's after having driven the track many times and observed things occur. When you get through the grass ahead, you take note of what time you have when you're 82 means you're going to have 87. No, it was 86, 85, something like that. I'm a little hesitant to say that when you're at 80 to 89, you should not pass four cars because you lose time. If you're at 82 and you get 10 more seconds, you only get eight. If you're going past start finish. I could possibly pass four cars, but I'm going to sandbag a little. And, oh, I didn't sandbag. I passed him. I went to 89, so you get to see. I'm only going to, I should get 10 more at 93, but I only got to 90, so I lost three seconds there because I passed four cars. But we're at the pinnacle, we're at the top, we're cutting between 80 and 89 on each of the laps, we're passing three, sometimes four cars, so we're just continuing. Well, I had three bad laps in a row, and I think I had a one lap where I only overtook one, and the others I only overtook two, so lost 40 seconds, and wasn't able to recover it, but we did get a good length on the race. 47 miles. I think once you get to 60 or 70, then you do get to a point where your fame is greater than you would get in a 10 lap race at Le Mans. So that's what your aim is for the days when you can get duplicate double I put it on 100% uh, fame bonus, and uh, if you get a double fame day and you can put on the manager, or I mean the agent, then you get four times, and if you can go longer than you can get uh, distance on a 10 lap Le Mans, then you get more uh, service. Yeah, I mean, not service. <laughs> I maintain my service. That's what I was seeing on the screen. You get more fame pay. So... That is something that you may be interested in, and that's uh, hopefully with the information you've learned here, it'll help you on your quest to do uh, the endurance races. This is Racer KK 10R, thanking you for watching my videos. Good luck to hear you, you in your races, and come back and see what the channel has coming up in the future.